Hey guys, are you wanting to buy best laptops for civil and structural engineers? Then you are on the right place. Our today's video is about top 10 best laptop for civil engineering students are available in the market. If you want to know price and more information about the products that mentioned in this video, you may check the link in the description box below. So now let's get started. Starting at number 1, Acer Swift 5. Do you require the best portable laptop to bring to class as a civil engineering student? The Acer Swift 5 will undoubtedly meet the requirements since it weighs a little under 3 pounds. Additionally, it includes a 1080p webcam, a small design, and a long battery life. The 16:10 aspect ratio and 25,600 and 1,600 resolution make the 14-inch display bright and large. You'll find an Intel Core i7 known 1260p CPU, Intel Iris C integrated graphics, 16GB of RAM, and 1DB of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. The only real knock we have against this machine is the undersized touchpad. However, it's not a deal breaker as you can always plug into an external mouse. It's a lovely little laptop that is both zippy and travel friendly. At number 2, Razer Blade 14. One of the greatest laptops for students studying civil engineering is the Razer Blade 14. The Razer Blade 14 is a compact, lightweight device with reliable components. If you're looking for a compact, powerful laptop to complete your coursework and play taxing PC games, the Razer Blade 14 will be a great choice. You'll be fortunate to get 6 hours of normal usage or 90 minutes of furious gaming on a single charge, so just carry the power adapter with you. At number 3, Acer Aspire 5. The Acer Aspire 5 is a good option if you're trying to cut costs. It offers a lot of RAM and SSD space for a cheap amount, and it can conveniently run programs like Java and Python efficiently for civil engineering students. It has 16 GB RAM, 512 GB NVMe PCIe SSD storage, an Intel Core i5-1235U processor, and Intel Z integrated graphics. Additionally, numerous connectivity choices are available, and the rear panel can be removed to increase the RAM. Although the battery life and keyboard could be better, the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. This is an excellent option for a student on a tight budget. It is one of the best laptops for civil engineering students. At number 4, Dell XPS 15 by 17. The ideal laptop for students studying civil engineering is this one. It's difficult to contest the fact that the Dell XPS 15 is still among the best laptops currently on the market, and not only for engineers. It has an impressive and bright display. It's fortunate that Dell created one of the most potent rivals to Apple's gleaming new M2 MacBooks with a very comfortable keyboard, powerful speakers, and a broad, responsive touchpad since the higher spec variants of the XB is 15 near cheap. Even though it isn't a powerhouse, the XB is 15 will beat laptops with integrated graphics for GUI accelerated software. Additionally, it may successfully compete with the bigger Dell XB is 17. The Dell XPS 17 has a lot of benefits. Fast performance, a colorful display, and a long battery life are a few of them. Additionally, the laptop includes four Thunderbolt 4 connections. Its internal pots include an Intel Core i7-12700H CPU, an NVIDIA RTX 3060 GPU, 32 GB of RAM, and 1 DB of SSD storage. For civil engineering students who utilize several applications that take up a lot of storage space, it is a lot of memory. We did have a few problems with the gadget, however. The XB is 17 is a huge beast at more over 5 pounds in weight. The keyboard isn't very impressive due to its tiny keys and elastic bottoming action. The cost is likewise high. If you can live with those little shortcomings, the XB is 17 is a great choice. This laptop consistently produces top-notch outcomes. Performance on the CPU and GPU is impacted by this. At number 5, Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. The 14-inch Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 is a powerful gaming laptop with an AMD Ryzen 9 4900H S processor and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Max-Q GPU. Engineering students are best positioned to put all that power to use better. 
the extraordinary 11 hours of battery life the Zephyrus G14 offers when you're not gaming, which means you can carry this through a day of courses without having to rush for a charger, is what we believe sets it apart from other laptops. The Raj Zephyrus G14 is inexpensive for a gaming laptop, which is important for students attempting to keep costs down. Civil engineering students on a budget can get this best laptop for performance and excellent battery life. At number 6, Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Fantastic performance, a broad selection of port options, a sturdy design, and many more features are all offered by the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Its cost is reasonable, and it can easily handle late-night gaming sessions and academic work. This laptop has an Intel Core i7-12700H processor, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 t GPU, 16 GB of RAM, and 512 GB of SSD storage, a maximum refresh rate of 165 Hz, and a resolution of 2560 by 1600 are features of the 16-inch display. The screen is bright, but compared to other ones we've seen, it isn't as colorful. Students studying civil engineering might do well with the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro if they desire a laptop that can be used for both work and leisure. At number 7, Alienware M15R4. This is one best laptops for civil engineering students as long as you can keep it plugged in. Do you get the drill? The battery is relatively po. The M15R4's battery life is less than impressive. The battery lasts only 4 hours on a single charge and considerably less when used. One of the best gaming laptops available is the Alienware M15R4, which has plenty of power to run every game you want, including full UHD 4K. Big engineering tasks should benefit from all that power and the stunning 4K display and fantastic keyboard. Still, the M15R4 is a robust and well-built laptop that will serve you well in work and pleasure if you can afford it and don't mind carrying a charger when you're out and about. At number 8, HP Pavilion Plus 14. If you are a student of civil engineering, you will probably spend a lot of time gazing at a screen. Why not invest wisely in one then? The HP Pavilion Plus 14 has a gorgeous OLED display with a 16-10 aspect ratio, a refresh rate of 90 Hz, and a resolution of 2880 by 1800 the 14-inch screen has these specifications. It contains a 16 GB RAM, Intel Iris graphics, Intel Core i7-12700H CPU, and 1 TB PCIe NVMe SSD storage for internal components. We enjoyed the fantastic display, but we're dissatisfied with the short battery life and low resolution. At number 9, MacBook Pro. The 16-inch MacBook is a beast thanks to the M1 Max processor, which takes graphics performance on the Mac to a whole new level. The display has also advanced and is now competitive with the Dell XPS Infinity Edge display. It offers a 120 Hz refresh rate for exceptional smoothness and mini-LED technology for even better image quality. For pupils who have genuine cameras, there includes an SD memory reader and an HAID mount for connection to screens. One of the greatest laptops for students studying civil engineering is this one. At number 10, Asus ZenBook Duo 14. When configured correctly, the Asus ZenBook Duo 14 is a powerful dual-screen laptop that looks appealing. The 12-inch touchscreen placed above the keyboard gives this laptop a futuristic aesthetic and serves as a surprisingly useful storage space for extra programs like Spotify and Discord. Creative software from firms like Adobe functions effectively because touch controls were incorporated for ease. Additionally, you can get a ZenBook Duo 14 with up to 32 GB of RAM and a dedicated NVIDIA MX450 graphics card, which should have enough capability to complete the majority of engineering work. Additionally, its battery life is amazing given that it has two displays to illuminate. The main flaw is that the ZenBook Duo 14 lacks a wrist rest, which may make typing on it unpleasant. However, if you have an external wrist rest, you ought to be okay. The finest laptop for civil engineering students is this one. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you later.